All right, hold on to your seats, folks. We're going into a game three in this series, Twisted Meadows, Infi versus Tho. Yes, it is not going to be the full cross bonds as we saw in the in the last final game of a three game set. We'll see what's going to be happening here. Altar of Kings quickly coming in. This is going to be perhaps another longer game, hence the eight times speed to get things started. As both sides now doing that customary Altar of Kings three peasant build to take down the Goblin Laboratory that's just clockwise of their base. So picking up a Scourge Bone Chimes, a very, very useful item for those early peasant and militia battles. But I do believe he will plan on selling that a bit later. Meanwhile, Archmage picking up Tree Shot Aura, giving himself and that, um, and that Water Elemental bonus damage. And this is going to be an interesting choice here, as Infi, now with True Shot Aura, may decide to go to Spellbreakers slightly faster. True Shot Aura benefiting those, sem uh, those short range range units, those Spellbreakers, giving them a bit of bonus damage. All right, we should be looking at picking up a Troll Shadow Priest here. And I got to admit that Infi getting a, the, the better luck in this particular fight. Oh, lose a Water Elemental here. So that, that luck may be short-lived as this Troll Shadow Priest now already being run all the way to the very, very back to try and save. Oh, a beautiful Militia stop on that one Peasant. And the Archmage doesn't want to try and come in here. All right, there goes a little bit of a small steal there. You can see this Ogre Warrior is going to end up falling down. Level 3 now on that Archmage as the Footmen are now trying to run all the way back home. That Arcane Tower is not going to complete in time as the Militia... Oh, our Footman now down to very, very low life. Is he going to be able to um, escape all the way back? It looks like those handful of Footmen are going to get their kill there as they're going to run back out. So, needs to be very, very careful as the Water Elemental now coming in. Arcane Tower not going to see the light of day. Quickly focused down by the Archmage and that Water Elemental here. All right, True Shot Aura compared to Vampiric Aura. Who is winning out? The Abolish Magic onto that poor Water Elemental. He just wanted to do a little bit of damage, and now he's just going to be giving a bit of experience to his opponent, Infi. Infi's Archmage already at level 3. I would call that a, a quarter right now. 600 experience. He has a Potion of Greater Healing, Mantle of Intelligence, extra bit of mana as well. Things are looking good for him. Boots of Speed now picked up by the Archmage of Tho, as he'll be able to run laps around this map now pretty quickly. All right, Archmage now looking to, for where his opponent is and trying to disrupt. All right, is he going to perhaps try and pull another Troll Shadow Priest? Oh, there is the boulder to the head. Never ever an easy call there. He's going to uh, go after that Rock Golem. Oh, picks up a Troll Berserker. Is he going to pick up a Troll Shadow Priest? That is the next big question. Um, and it looks like that Rock Golem may end up getting taken down. Um, yeah, it is going to get taken down. So the good item, Goblins of Ogre Strength, Potion of Greater Mana. And now he's going to scroll of Town Portal out of there. Would you trade a Potion of Greater Mana f um, for a Scroll of Town Portal? Well, we know the answer here, but... Infi is not going to have a Scroll of Town Portal for a little bit of time. Troll Shadow Priest now ready to go. Archmage sitting at level 3. That additional potion of greater mana is going to help him out in those big fights. But losing another Troll Shadow Priest there is going to definitely hurt. Water Elemental taking far too much damage than he should be. He may end up falling at the hands of the Archmage here in just a moment as the Footmen are now trying to do a little bit of chase. He's almost baiting him to, uh, to attack back and try to disrupt some of the healing, but no, not going to happen. It does not get away and ends up giving back some experience anyways. Footmen now making their way off to the north here. This footman, or this archmage, almost at level 4, is going to come in from behind and perhaps disrupt all of these units here in just a moment. Footman now trying to engage here. As you can see, that vampiric aura engaging against all of these militia. Things could turn bad here in just a moment as we are taking the tier 2 on both sides. But you can see that Tho is going to be significantly faster in getting to tier 2. He is just now going to finish. And there you have it. A new Mountain King or a panda could be hired here in just a moment. Not quite sure what the long-term strategy or long-term goal is. Mountain King. Not, not surprised by a Mountain King being the favorable choice on this map. There is a lot of expansions available on this map. And a lot of opportunities to go into the long game. 
Unfortunately for Tho, he does not have that True Shot aura. And that Vampiric aura is not going to really help him against or with those Spellbreakers. Now, if he goes and transitions straight into Knights, which would be a very, very risky proposition as you don't know if your opponent is going for Spellbreakers. If you transition into Knights, that, that Vampiric aura will stay, have even more lasting power as melee units that are in the front line or obviously in the front line a lot have a lot of hit points and deal a lot of damage or is exactly what vampiric aura was made for being able to get a little bit of damage mitigation off through straight heals all right back over here so now finishing up this expansion meanwhile off over here infi pretty much doing the same exact thing infi not quite as favorable of a location he is not as close to his base as he would want to be but then again his base is really a hop or just on the other side of the world here from tho all right level four on that archmage level two brilliant aura already done infi now setting up this base off over here it looks like we're gonna have a panda war and infi is infi gonna be able to do enough with this panda early on to try to really fight back and deal damage here all right there's a breath of fire but i don't well let's take a look at this um uh, now ogre warrior gonna finish up this creep camp here um he's finish off what he started about two minutes ago with that archmage finishes things up and now making his way back still some prime prime targets here this forest troll warlord creep camp and this one this one down over here prime examples of easy to take locations at this point or it will be easy to take in just a little bit as both sides have rather strong primary heroes at, as already sitting at level four A player's forces are all right level four footmen rushing over spot this expansion now trying to run away their information will end up just costing uh, uh, costing a bit more than they would have liked Mountain King could easily get off a storm boat. There it is. And down it goes. Mountain King now sitting at level two. All right. Infi bringing over a, a, a low hit point water elemental. That's kind of dangerous when you know that a footman can easily take that down. New water elemental now making its way over. And oh, there's a bit of splash. Infi giving up that little bit of extra experience that than he wanted to as that Mountain King and that archmage are going to be rather high in level already even before we see that next big fight though already sitting at four and we're just not even at the 10 minute mark panda sitting at level two with a potion of greater mana and a potion of greater healing those items are going to be very helpful as we see though take down a transitioning priest who was just trying to get to the rest of his army archmage now making its way over here you can see Arcane Tower getting in a little bit of feedback damage once again. Are we going to see another turnaround a a tactic and a turnaround fight here? Call to Arms could get underway. And it looks like, yes, that is going to definitely be the case as the priest, or as the oh, footman now ventures in a little bit too far. Mountain King um, now being forced to run back here. The footman do have defend as the Abolish Magic goes down. Infi losing another Water Elemental as we're still looking at another Breath of Fire come in. Beautiful Drunken Haze Breath of Fire. Footman getting burned to death. B burned alive there until death as all the rest of these units are now trying to head back home all right archmage drops two water elementals here and now after taking down the towers are going to be able to take down a handful of peasants pretty quickly and these water elementals just clearing up all of these guys right here and now it's going to be an easy pickings right there goes another are we going to see more and more peasants fall yes we are and there's only one peasant left at this point as the Archmage now running back away, still sitting at level four. And where is that Mountain King? Where is that Mountain King? Mountain King off over here, attempting to take down the Forest Troll Warlord, is already at level three. And now, with the help of the Priest here, going to be able to heal up against or with all these footmen to take on the rest of the units. All right. Belt of Giant Strength. Very, very nice item there. Up to a thousand hit points. Meanwhile, Panda sitting at 875.
with a potion of greater healing not quite sure who i would rather go up against but i think the panda is slightly less scary level th three mountain king against level two panda at least the heroes are in a bit more danger all right stormbolt onto the panda panda now backing off as we are looking at the mountain king sitting at 160 and and rising in terms of mana All right, Mountain King, Stormbolt onto the Troll Berserker. Berserker already down here. A lot of the spell magic coming in from both sides now. As we can see, the Water Elemental is pretty much getting destroyed. Mortar Team is now being added by Infi. But as you know, Mortar Teams are primary targets to get bolted out of the way. Yes, the Goblin Zeppelin was there to try to pick up units. But with so much anti-air coming in from Tho with those Troll Berserkers, even that Goblin Zeppelin is in a little bit of trouble. All right, Troll Berserker down to 154 hit points, down to 103. May end up falling. You can see him now. Oh, could have just thrown one more axe to finish off. That Priest does end up getting the kill there. Mountain King now at level 4. And Tho, with a level 4 Mountain King and almost level 5 Archmage, is going to be very difficult to stop against a level 5 um, Archmage and a level 2 Panda. There you have it, level 5 on that Archmage now. Mountain King should be pretty much left to his own desires. Uh, not having this Archmage around, which he is stealing a bit of the experience from that Mountain King. So if that Mountain King is ever shy of the next hero level, just by a little bit, we know where that experience was lost. Alright, Panda, Archmage, now ready to go. And there's a quick reveal there, and we see that... Yes, Infi, Infi now knows that. Tho now knows where exactly he is. Archmage comes in from the behind, trying to get in some easy shots, drops a water elemental, and is hoping to finish off a handful of units. Oh, perhaps trying to take down that mortar team. Mortar team down to 181 hit points. And it looks like it's going to be able to continue to stay alive as that Archmage does not want to try and engage against those units just quite yet. Meanwhile, let's take a look back down over here. I believe the Mountain King sitting at level 4 may get to level 5. No, not off of this creep camp, but will be very close to level 5 after this. Archmage still putting pressure on Infi's main bit, or natural expansion here. As it's going to get cleared out here in just a second. Alright, Water Elemental now cleared out. Mountain King um, about to finish clearing it up. And oh, Tome of Strength being left behind. That Mountain King doesn't care for much. But he does have an amulet of spell shield, which against another mountain king is perhaps one of the best items you could hope for. It will negate one storm bolt every, I believe, 45 seconds. All right. Troll Trapper. Troll High Priest. Knights now clearing up the rest of this creep camp here. Infi is at castle, obviously, and using his superior tech to really, um, really bring down a lot of high-level units. Meanwhile, Infi is not too far behind. Only, uh, what, only about 12 supply behind. Okay, never mind. I take it back. 12 supply in Warcraft 3 is a rather lot. But economically speaking, both of them are still running up on two bases, even though Tho has been able to mine much more in peace down over here throughout much of the game panda now gonna get close to level four there you have it level four on that panda clearing up the remaining units claws of attack plus nine and what claws of attack plus nine on that panda are we gonna see true shot aura no claws of attack plus nine given to the archmage and wow plus 22 damage on that archmage just from that back row position All right, let's take a look. Archmage now making his way up the north. Knights being added. Knights do have that animal war or have that armor training and animal war training. That's going to help out tremendously. Meanwhile, inner fire being brought over by Infi. So Infi plus 14 armor, 46% damage mitigation. That is absolutely huge. As we now see another water elemental pretty much biting the dust in a matter of seconds. We are at the 16-minute mark of this game. Knights now just charging around on both sides. Who has the better aura? That is the big question. And we see Inner Fire also being used up by Infi. I guess the Spellbreakers are just out of mana, unable to steal any more Inner Fire as all of the units are just engaging back and forth. All right.
Priest now trying to engage here. Panda now in a little bit of trouble. Breath of Fire takes him down as level 2 Panda falls. All right, is that the first hero of many to fall here? Not quite known as Infi now. It looks like he's going to lose. Wait, nope. Has not lost that Panda as of yet. He may try and continue this bit of a chase here. And is he going to get a Breath of Fire? Yeah, there he goes. Panda now in a little bit. Wait, nope. He still has a potion of greater mana if he wants to try and use a Breath of Fire. But that may not work out well for him. As though now down to 32 hit points, 32 hit points on that unit now needs to retreat and perhaps regroup that unit. All right, let's take a look. Thoe still wandering around. Panda looking to perhaps set up an expansion of his own. He knows that his opponent has been trying to set up an extra expansion. So hence the hence all the rush to try and set up his additional expansion. And he's going to be able to do it over here at his close expansion location. All right. Knights, Priest. Mastery training already done. 370 hit points on those priest. 400 mana on those priest. Inner fire is going to eat through much of that mana, but that is a lot of mitigation and a bit of damage bonus as well. Knights ready to go here, and are we going to perhaps see a surround onto this panda? That panda seems to be... Nope. That panda seems to be just all right right now. As he's going to be getting surrounded right here. And there you have it. There's a Breath of Fire. And oh, there's the Stormbolt. This could be very bad news. Infi needs to back out of there. And he does. Not uh, Getting very, very lucky to stay away with that very, uh, very fragile panda that appears. All right. Drunken Haze, Breath of Fire. Not quite in the right order. As we're looking at the panda now. Looking to perhaps get a Breath of Fire off on all of these units here. And it looks like, nope, that is not going to be, oh, Staff of Preservation again, or Staff of Sanctuary again. As Tho and Tho and Infi, both sides not really losing that many units, just constantly preserving them and sending them back home. Siege engines now being brought over by Infi. A, a play a little bit out of left field here. But Siege engines very, very useful as that guard tower only does 7 damage per attack. And there's not much that can really be done to stop it. That piercing damage, very, very weak. And it looks like Infi's town hall over here on the top right will be destroyed for a second. Or I believe uh, that's, I believe that's the first time in this game. Mortar teams trying to stay alive in the front line. Able to do it by not being in the front line any longer. Spellbreakers absolutely getting destroyed. Water Elemental, Knights, Priest, all ready to go. There's another Breath of Fire taking in or blowing down many of those Priests there. Mountain King to try and Thunderclap or do something to save some of those units. and Or take them out. And no, he does not. As we're now looking at the Priest, oh, getting a good, nice splat there. All right, there goes a knight. Another knight it could end up getting taken down. However, the panda now in a bit of trouble. Does he have a scroll town portal? Yes, he does. And Infi is just looking to maximize his damage right now while his scroll of town portal is being used. All right, Siege Engines heading over here to the top right. They look like they're going to get destroyed. There goes one. One Siege Engine, all that's left. There goes the other. As the Panda now sitting at level 5. Level 6 on the Archmage. Level 3 on the Paladin. Meanwhile, 5. 5. Where is the last hero? Um, 5. Uh, 5. 5. 2. Almost 5. 5. 3 in that Paladin there. All right, let's, so far, let's take a look at this. Priest now being saved once more. Infi trying to run for the hills. Knights now trying to just come in and 
get in the position here. A little bit of healing. Mountain King, Stormbolt onto a knight. Or Stormbolt onto a knight there. That's going to be stunned out for a little bit of time. Mountain King now in a little bit of trouble. Needs to back off. Does have an amulet of spell shield. So he will be able to absorb one unfriendly spell in just a little bit. There's a Stormbolt onto the Paladin. Paladin falls at level 3. Meanwhile, level 3 now in the Paladin. Um, here of Tho. So Tho somehow comes out ahead. And now... Tho coming out ahead here, but he is losing in terms of units. Just lost another knight there. So both sides with heavy losses as the mortar teams are just raining down units and raining down damage. All right, it looks like another volley of attacks. No, not no volley of attacks to come in right now as another staff of sanctuary saves another unit. Spellbreakers in an attempt to run away will be able to get away. Mountain King may try to get a Stormbolt off. There goes another 350 damage Stormbolt. Quickly, quickly make short work of these um, of these poor units as the Mountain King now trying to run away and it looks like it will be able to get away. Alright. Mountain King. Now heading off to the north here. Uh, Mountain King continuing to clear up this and what's going to be happening here? Mountain King now trying to run all the way back. Archmage may be able to catch up, get some damage. And no, nope, not going to be the catching up there. It is just going to be the mass teleport heading back down over here. Yeah, heading back down over here and now healing back up. Paladin sitting at level 3 plus 10 armor or 10 armor right now. 37% damage reduction. A huge, huge, a, a huge, huge increase in overall health or effective health. As Infi now with Water Elementals here could turn around, try to deal some damage back to that knight, but that knight is upgraded 3-2 and maybe even become 3-3 here in just a second. If he does become 3-3, three, three, um, nope, no 3-3 three, three as of yet, but that is still going to be a very difficult knight to take down. Nine armor before Inner Fire. If you add in Inner Fire, that, da that damage mitigation plus 14 is going to be above 50, so that is... That is some serious business there in terms of damage. All right, Mortar Team's now trying to run back here. And it's basically a giant game of tug of war right now. Who is able to... Um, who is able to get more slack without letting go of the rope? And it looks like Infi is going to be just continuing this pressure that he was able to apply earlier on inside the base of Tho. All right, Tho making his way out from the north here. This could potentially be bad. Archmage and Panda now trying to engage. Breath of Fire across a handful of units. Many of them are spellbreakers, not doing any damage. And we're still looking at another Abolish Magic. Mounting King of Tho now sitting at level 6. So two level 6 heroes compared to a level 5 and a level 5. That's not looking good at all. Or five, level 5 and level 6, that is not going to be a fair representation here as... We're looking at where did those units go. All right, let's take a look. Knights now looking to finish off everything else here. Avatar of Vengeance looking to Breath of Fire take down many of these units. And finish them all up. All right, Knights after Knights. Paladin. Paladin, Panda, Mountain King. You can either really go either way. The big problem is going to be if you can finish your game within the strategy you have uh, or the strategy you are building for and the heroes you have chosen. Mortar teams are just now raining down, but they're actually dealing more damage to his own units than his opponent's units, which is actually a bit scary. You don't want to hit with friendly fire. As what is this? The Archmage now coming back over. All right, Staffa, oh, mass teleport now moving away from the scene of the crime. Down over here, you can see them all getting healed back up once again. No scroll of regeneration, but I believe that will be fixed in just a moment. Clarity potion and scroll of regeneration already being used. Forces are under attack.
All right. Breath of Fire comes through from Infi. Infi now trying to chase down a handful of units. It looks like he's going to be able to hit, perhaps take down a handful of units here. Level 4 now on the Paladin. Level 6, level 5 compared to 6, uh, 6, 6, 4. No, 6, 6, 5 compared to 6, I don't know, 6, 5, 4. That would actually be very, very beneficial in terms of Infi. But is he going to be able to come out of this uh, spelling like a rose? All right. A lot of damage to be had. Goblin Shredder now being added into this mix. It looks like Infi now going to be backing off here. Is he going to end up falling? Paladin now trying to get a heal off. Gets a heal off there. And is now still trying to take down additional units. All right. There goes that knight though. That knight with 2-2 two, two upgrades compared to the 3-2 three, two upgrade knights of Tho. As we're looking at the water elemental is just continuing to fight back here. All right, Knight now taking a fair bit of damage. Is this water elemental going to be able to escape? Are we going to perhaps see a breath of fire? No, no breath of fire. No, nothing like that. As we're looking at what more mortar teams just lobbing more things their way. All right. Stormbolt onto the Archmage. Water Elemental, very, very low on hit points. He has to be very careful. Are we going to perhaps see another Stormbolt there? No, no Stormbolt. And that's the biggest problem at level 6 when you can't stop your op opponent's ultimate ability and just make him punish for it for overcommitting into a fight that he thought he could get away from. All right, all right there's a Scroll of Town Portal now coming through. Are, where are they going to land? They are going to land right... Oh, wait, no. That was a bit of a cancellation there. They're landing right up on top of the units as the... Knight now may end up backing off here. All right. Panda comes through and Infi says GG. Though takes game number three in the series. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.